What's up everybody, CB Modi here back with another video and if you're anything like me and carry a device on the go with you, chances are you may be a little bit worried of what might happen if that guy gets stolen and you may be considering, well, getting some software to maybe help you out if that device is stolen. Now hopefully you'll also do have all your data backed up thanks to a service much like Backblaze which we checked out right there or anything else really, but either way if your data is still on the computer and you want to track down your device, what can you actually do to track down your computer? Well, today we're going to show you exactly that. A nice piece of software that allows you to track down your computer if it happens to be stolen or really just, I guess, keep tabs on where your computer is at all times. Now, over on the Mac side, we have been lucky enough to have things like Find My Mac for quite some time. And whilst there's been a couple holes in the software here and there, for the most part, it has worked really well for a lot of Mac users out there. But for the rest of the PC users out there and Linux system users, there's also to the issue of, mm, well, not exactly having anything really much like Find My Mac over on again the Windows and Linux side. Now yes, Windows has some sort of features here and there, but honestly, they're really not that popular and no one uses it. So today we'll show you a nice piece of software that allows you to track down your computer. And that piece of software is known as Prey, a piece of software that has been used by me for the past four or so months and I've absolutely loved it. Now before we do go any further, no, Prey has no affiliation with this video, I'm not affiliated with them. I don't pay them any money. They don't pay me any money. Nothing's sort of going on there. Literally, I was looking for some tracking software, found Prey, and I absolutely love it. So I thought, why not share it with you guys as well? So that being said, let's start to take a look at what Prey has to offer. So Prey is a cross-platform tracking software that can work on Mac, PCs, Linux, phones, desktops, tablets, anything really, and it is really, really simple, and not to mention very lightweight. If you're worried about running a piece of tracking software on the computer that's going to weigh you down, slow down your computer, use up a whole bunch of battery life, well, lucky enough, Prey doesn't do any of it. As I did mention, I've been using it for about four or so months, and honestly, we'll touch on this a little bit more, I can't even tell the difference between when it's installed and when it's not installed. It is just that lightweight. And the best bit is, as I did mention, it is cross-platform compatible, so you don't have to worry about having one for your Macs, one for your Windows, and one for your Linux devices. It can be managed through one simple interface, and it is really awesome there. This is something that I really do like. Not to mention, as I did mention, it is super lightweight and also too super inexpensive. Now, pricing options do go up to $15 a month, but if you're like me and a little bit of a cheap person, you don't have to pay any money at all. You can monitor up to three devices without having to pay any money to these guys, and it is really just that simple. Set up an account, and you have up to three devices to go. So for today's video, we'll be looking at the free option, but again, you can pay a little bit more to go ahead and get either a couple more features, which we'll touch on in just a moment, or to monitor more devices. But the free version is still really, really powerful. So once you go ahead and create an account and you do sign up and log in, it gives you the options to go ahead and install the software, as I did mention on Linux, Mac, PC, just about anything else. And you go ahead and do so, again, log in there, and boom, everything is set up. Now, if we take a look here at the PC screen, there is no system tray icon, there's no desktop icon, there is literally nothing to show you that Prey is installed. Now, a lot of the time I would say that this is a bad thing because personally I love controls and software and modifying stuff, however, when it comes to PC security, you don't want anyone to know that you're running this software because, well, if they know you got it, they're going to be trying to get around it and thus stop you from getting your laptop back. So, for me, whilst I'm not the biggest fan of not having any control on the individual computers, I really do like the security front where it just doesn't show up at all whether you're on the Mac, Linux, or PC side. Now, I did touch on battery usage and CPU usage, and sure, it's another program running in the background. However, with that being said, it is extremely light, and from my tests so far, I cannot tell the difference between running Prey and not running Prey, especially on the Mac side where I'm very sensitive even to things like using the wrong web browser. I've really noticed no difference in battery life. I'm still getting my plus five, six, seven hours of battery life on the Mac side, depending on what I'm doing. And I've really noticed no extra battery life drop. So really, really impressed there. But with that being said, it's really a lightweight program. It's just pinging the server and really not doing that much unless you activate stolen laptop mode where it uses a little bit more power, but we'll touch on why that is in just a moment. Now, yes, with that being said, sure it's gonna use more power, sure it's gonna use some CPU cycles, but in the grand scheme, 
things, it's really not actually that much at all. So once we've gone ahead and set things up on our laptop, let's jump over to the web interface where we're going to see some really cool control settings. So right up here in the first bit of the dashboard, we do see my PC and also to my Mac here. And clicking on them will bring up some real information that I absolutely love about this stuff. Now, if we go down to the bottom of the screen right here, this is one of my favorite parts of this piece of software, and that is the hardware info tab. If someone steals your laptop and takes out, say, the RAM or the drive and then just leaves it for you to find later, sure, you may get your computer back, but now you've lost your RAM or you've lost your hard drive, you've lost some other little internal component, you can see exactly what's going on here. And we can even see down to things like serial numbers and also to hardware configurations. So once again, if someone steals your laptop, pulls the RAM and then gives it back to you, and then, well, now you've lost your RAM. Thankfully, through this application, you can actually see that indeed they did steal the RAM there. So you can also too get your RAM back. On top of this, it'll also to allow you to scroll through the hardware information and also to even see the model number of this CPU generation and also to speed. Super, super detailed and I absolutely love this. Now also too, as it is a tracking piece of software, you can do your kind of traditional things like sound an alarm, put a message on the screen saying that the laptop is missing or stolen or lock down the device. But if you do go ahead and pay for their service, you can also to wipe the laptop remotely, which is a thing I wish you could just do for free. But also too, you can even use it to recover files. So if your computer is lost out somewhere, you leave it somewhere, but it's still connected to Wi-Fi and you can still access it. If you do have a paid version, you can actually pull down the most important files and then just wipe the rest of the computer if you already have a backup. This is something that I absolutely love and even though I'm only on the free version, I kind of wish that I did sort of pay that to get that option, but either way, I really do love the fact that you can wipe and also to recover files out and about without having to move to another piece of software. So, okay, then we can pull some files, we can set alarms. What about actually finding the laptop if it is stolen? Well, like enough, we have a very big, simple red button. So if we click this button right here, it sets the device to its missing device state. This is where the software will use a little bit more power and a little bit more CPU cycles to actually record screenshots and also to use the webcam if it is a laptop or if it is a phone, front and back cameras to take photos of the uh, surroundings of the user. So for example, if the thief is using a computer, you're gonna get a straight on photo of their face using your computer, which in a police report will be absolutely crucial. Now, speaking of police reports, when you do click this button, it actually allows you to generate reports of where your computer is, what the settings are, what's on the screen, and everything that's going on around it. The only downside to this is if you run a 4K screen like the XPS 15, it'll only capture a 1080p window, unfortunately. It's still something that it might be sort of a feature that is fixed on a future version or something like that, but at the time of recording, if you do have a 4K screen, it will only capture, I believe, the top left corner, which is about a 1920 by 1080 screen. Don't get me wrong, it's still pretty nice to see what's on your screen, but it would be nice if you just had the full screen captured. But seeing I'm running the free service, not going to complain too much. So as I did mention, it will generate a full report and it'll take the photos. It will also to grab yourself a webcam shot and also to put it all together with latitude and longitude information, public IP address, device information, Wi-Fi networks around it, and of course the webcam images in a nice sort of easy package that will print out on a simple A4 document. So you can go ahead and either send this off to the police department or you could go ahead and keep monitoring this every 10, 15, 20 minutes or even two minutes if you do buy one and you can keep track of where your computer is. And this is something that I absolutely love. If your laptop's stolen, no longer do you have to kind of guess where it might be, where things are, maybe try and get a webcam shot. Everything is condensed into some really detailed information and I absolutely love it there. Then finally, one of my other favorite parts of this particular piece of software is your zoning settings. Zones are your kind of predefined states that you can have your devices in and if they leave those areas, you can go ahead and set an alarm. This is really great for desktop type systems. So maybe you have a laptop that you leave on your desk and it always lives on your desk, or maybe you have an all-in-one or desktop PC. Setting up a zone for that computer is actually really important. Say if you go on holidays and you leave your computers at home on your desk and your house get robbed, you can now see that one, unfortunately your house has been robbed, but also to two, your desktop is no longer in that zone. The instantly goes ahead and starts the missing computer mode and boom, now you'll start to get your devices back. I guess this also too helps keep tracks of other people in your family if you do want to put them in a zone setting, but this is really great if your devices do get stolen. And whilst there are definitely a lot of other features that I do absolutely love about this software, there is one major Achilles heel of this 
and that is the internet connectivity of your device. If it doesn't have a wireless signal, you can't really do anything there. Now phones and tablets like this guy here that have cellular connections definitely get around this problem, but if it is a laptop PC, Mac or anything like that that doesn't have an internet connection, you can't track where it is, you can't take pictures with it, and you can't lock it down. If they keep that device offline, you're basically at a little bit of a loss here, which is really, really frustrating. Another thing that I'd like to be able to do, as I did mention earlier in the video, is just to be able to wipe and also to control my files remotely without having to buy the full paid version. But seeing that I'm on the free plan and you can already do so much, I'm really not going to complain too much there. But all in all, do keep in mind that whilst there are all these features, the device does need to have some sort of internet connectivity so you can actually go ahead and do these things, which is, again, a real big downside. But all in all, this is definitely a super powerful tool that many people out there and on the go should definitely consider, especially if it is just the free option. As I said, the free option is extremely powerful and hey, it's free. If you don't like it, uninstall it and you are done. I've been using this guy again for the about past four months or so and it's absolutely been a really cool tool. Thankfully I haven't had to use it yet as my laptop hasn't been stolen yet but if that day ever comes I know for a fact that my data is backed up and I can also to remotely find it and nuke it if it does happen to come to that so I really do like it there. And if I was to put my business hat on as an IT department admin I would absolutely be pushing to get these uh, rolled out or this software rolled out rather across all of the laptops and computers I manage because it just makes looking after them so much easier. Whilst I'm not going to get into a massive story, there definitely was times when I worked in IT departments when computers and devices were stolen and a simple piece of software like this, even if it was free, would have been so much better than just having nothing and now losing a device. But with that being said, what do you run if your laptop is stolen? Do you just sort of run nothing and just hope it doesn't get stolen? Or do you have a favourite piece of software? Let me know down below. If you want to check out Prey and what it can do a little bit more, I've left the links all down below. Otherwise, once again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.